going forward, I am not going to be sending you the YouTube link separately and then sending the quizzes link separately. I am going to be sending the YouTube link and under the YouTube video, you would see the quizzes link. So this is the quizzes link over here. So after watching the YouTube video, so for instance, you have finished watching my YouTube video. I'm playing the YouTube video right now. For instance, you finish watching my YouTube video. The next thing you do is to scroll down a bit and then you click on the link you can see here. Just click on the link and this link is going to direct you to the quizzes platform. So you can see, so it's easy. I'm going to be taking you on the weekly lesson review and we're going to be talking about week three and four lesson which talks about hardware and the lesson will be taken from our ICT textbook pages 16 to page 18. Now don't forget that this particular lesson review is for those of us that are in grade Three. And like I would always say, before we continue on this video, I'd like you to scroll down to your screen, like this video, and subscribe to this channel. Please do that right now because that is what helps us to continue to be able to do this video. Now let's quickly look at the quizzes for last week before we move to the lesson for today. Like I would always say, please remember to rename this. Always put your correct name in the quiz section so that whenever I am reviewing the quiz, I can see your name. I'll know it's from you. So we move on to attempt the quiz. Then we start the quiz. The first question says, match the following. So we match the following. So this is the system unit. We match it to the system unit. This is the mouse, we match it to the mouse. This is the monitor, we match it to the monitor. This is the printer, we match it to the printer. This is the keyboard, we match it to the keyboard. And let's see if this is correct. Correct! So we move to the next question, which says, computer is an electronic machine that does as that does all the following except select only the correct answer. So computer can do all the following except purchase data, no, process data, yes, accept data, yes, stores data, yes. Submit. Correct. Let's move to the next question, which says, Melvin just made a drawing of his dream house using the paint application on his computer and he wants to have it in hard copy. What device will he use to do this? A printer. Yes, a printer is correct. CU means what? What does CU mean? Central unit, center united, commercial unit, control unit. The correct answer is control unit. The next thing is, the next question, what device is this? Or what is this device called? This is the abacus. Yes, we all know the abacus. Now the next question says, many years ago, people counted numbers using dash and dash. Choose two answers. Calculator, no, many years ago, there were no calculators, toes, yes, fingers, yes. Desktop, no. Palm top, no. So the correct answer is fingers, toes, and fingers, or fingers and toes. The physical parts of the computer are called hardware. True? False? Okay, so the right answer is true. The physical part of the computer system are called hardware. Match the devices to their inventor. Yes, this is the analytical engine. We match it to Charles Babbage. This is 
the Pascal's wheel. We match it to Blaise Pascal. This is uh, an invention by Williams Osgrey, the slide rule. And this is the Napier bone. Yes, let's see if this is correct. Yes, this is correct. So let's move to the next question. Which of these, which of the following is the brain of the computer? Is it the keyboard, the mouse, the monitor, or the CPU? The CPU is the correct answer. The central processing unit is the brain of the computer. The next question, the word computer is derived from the Latin word compute, computa, computere, com so the right answer is this, compute. Now, the following are tech giants. These following people are tech giants. So this man here created Apple. This man here created Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. This is our president, Mohamed Buhari. And this man here created... Um, um, Windows and this is Bill Gates. The right answer is our president Mohamed Buhari. He is not a tech giant. The following are tech giant except Mr. President Mohamed Buhari. The next question is we can send data to the computer using the DAS devices. Processing devices, input devices, storage devices, output devices. Input devices are used in sending data into the computer. Now, the next question is, who is the father of computer? Will Smith, no. He's a movie star, Bill Gates, no. He invented, or he's the owner of Microsoft. Charles Babbage, yes, he's the father of computer. The next question says, match the following hardware to their type. The following hardware to their type. Keyboard, yes. Input device one. Um, printer, output device one. Microphone, input device two. Projector, output device two. And then system unit, which is a processing unit. Oh, so I, the answer is actually correct. It's just a rearrangement. Yes. Now, who invented the analytical engine? Mr. Nate? No. Obama? No. Bill Gates? No. Charles Babbage? Yes, Charles Babbage invented the analytical engine. Now we have five more questions to go. And then the following are elements of computer except the hardware, the humanware, the animalware, the software. So the animalware is not the element of computer. Oh, it says we should select all answers except one. Sorry, I missed that, but I understand why. I was supposed to say I didn't read the instruction carefully, but I'm sure you know the right answer. Who, which of these is not a modern day computer palm top is a modern day computer analytical engine not a modern day desktop not a modern day laptop not a modern day so the analytical engine we have three more questions to go what is this device called this is the napier bone two more questions to go speaker is an output device is an input device no false Speaker is an output device. Now the last question says, John is on a long queue at the airport and he needs to send an email to his friends. What kind of computer should he use? What kind of computer should he use? He wants to send an email, he's on a long queue. He can't use a laptop because on a long queue, he can't use a laptop. A supercomputer, he can't use a super because it's so big. A desktop computer, no, but a mobile computer is the most appropriate. So we have come to the end of the, the quizzes. Right now, we should move to... Okay, so he's giving us the option again. The following are elements of computer except select the correct answer. Yes, yes. Yes. 
Yes, and we're done with the quizzes. All done. Let's see what we scored. Hundred percent. Thank you, everybody. Now let's move to the lesson for today. Our time is actually far spent, so I'm going to just be as quickly as possible with our lesson today. So what is hardware? Hardware is the term used to describe all the physical parts of the computer. So any part of the computer that you can see is referred to as the hardware. And the hardware is grouped into mm, three major parts or is into three major groups. Now, the input device, the output device, and the processing device. Now, I like to say the storage devices are also, you know, hardware. So, you can say hardware are grouped into four. Input devices, output devices, processing devices, sorry, processing device, and storage device. Now, input devices are the computer parts used to send data in form of instruction or command into the computer system. Like we all know, computers feed on data and to do this, an input device is required to act spoon just as human eats with spoon. So what it means is that computer system needs input device to make it work. So for instance, before the computer system can work, you need to send data to the computer, either by using the keyboard to type, or by using the mouse to click, or by using the joystick, or by using the light pen. But you must send information into the computer using any of these devices. And these are the devices that we call the input device. And we have different examples of the input devices. The keyboard is an input device because we use it for typing. And whenever you are typing, whatever you are typing, goes into the computer system. The joystick is used for playing games, controlling characters. So whenever you're playing game, it goes into the, it controls the characters in the computer system. That is why the joystick is an input device. The scanner is also an input device because through the scanner, you can send an image or a document into the computer system. The microphone, the microphone, the microphone, the microphone is an input device because we speak to the microphone and then the microphone takes the sound into the computer. Most of our laptops or our desktop computers have inbuilt microphones. So as I am speaking right now, my voice is going into the computer system through the inbuilt microphone on my laptop. Another input device is the light pen. The light pen is used to scribble. So for instance, if you have a tablet or a tablet as the case may be, you use the, they usually come with a light pen. You can use a light pen to scribble or write stuff on the screen and it shows on the screen of your device. Or if you use a smart board in your school, you know you have a light pen, you can easily scribble on the board using the light pen and whatever you're writing is showing in or on the screen. That is what makes the light pen the input device. We have the mouse also. I already said that the mouse is used to send instruction by clicking or highlighting or locating whatever thing you want to on the computer system. And that is majorly an input device. And then the webcam also. The webcam is a camera attached to the computer screen. So my computer right now has a camera. That is the camera that I am actually using to train you on. So my computer system is recording my face and my is recording my face while the microphone is recording my voice. All of this is going into the computer system. Um, now, those are the input devices, and then let's talk about the output devices briefly. The output devices are the computer parts that shows us everything that is happening in the computer system. So whatever we are doing in the computer, the output devices helps us to see them. And then we have different examples like the monitor. You can see me through your monitor. What I am doing into the computer right now, what I'm the data or the information I'm sending into the data right now, can be visible to you through your monitor. That is why the monitor is an output device. Another name for monitor is VDU. VDU means visual display unit. Visual display unit. And there are different types of monitor. We have the liquid crystal display, and then we have the cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube. Those are the types 
of monitor. That's the LCD or CRT. Now the CRT is the large kind of monitor, the one we use in some those days. Right now we use LCDs and um, flat screen monitors right now. Those are the ones that I refer to as liquid crystal display. The speakers are also output devices because they bring out sound. Everything I'm saying right now, you can hear it because I have used the microphone to send the sound into the computer and then you can hear it through your speaker. So the speaker is bringing out sound for you. Now the printer, the printer is a very important part because whenever you type a document and you need to see it in a paper form, you use the printer to print it out. The plotter also works like the printer. It is used in bigger industries, printing industries for printing. They use for printing flex, banner, and uh, window graphics and large kind of display. Now we have the processing device. There is just one processing device and it is the system unit. The system unit is the most important part of the computer system. It controls every other part of the computer. Every other part of the computers are com connected. Every other part of the computer is connected to the system unit. So the, the, the plotter, the printer, the speakers, the monitors, the webcam, the mouse, the light pen, the scanner, the keyboard, the joystick, the microphone, they are all connected to the processing unit, which is the system unit. Now, we also have the storage devices, which I said before. We have different storage devices like the flash drive, the external hard drive, the compact disk, so the memory card, and so many other storage devices. These are also hardware. So basically, these are the hardware, and all of these helps the computer system to work. Don't forget, the hardware are the physical parts of the computer system. Like I said just now, that the system unit is the most important part of the computer. Every other hardware is connected to the system unit. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Okay, so let me look at some of the activity that your teacher probably gave you during the course of the week. So your teacher asked you to use the internet to research different input devices, um, put them in Microsoft Word and print them out. The your teacher also asked you to do the, ask you to do that for both input and output device and then the last thing is that you should do a short video recording of yourself narrating your amazing moment i think that is interesting you can do that using the webcam of your computer system now the essence of all of this is basically to help you to use the web to use all of this hardware so if you are printing if you are searching you must use the computer system and then if you are you, you are printing out, you are using the output device and then you're recording your voice, your face, you are using an input device. So basically, this will help you to use some of these devices. Now, I would always drop a quiz at the end of my video. So watch out for the quiz that would come after this video. Please practice the quiz activity because I want to see your name in my database. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye.